Well, do you want to look younger? Of course. Well, today we're searching for the fountain of youth in both in the doctor's office and in the drugstore. Dr. David Colbert has the scoop on skin smoothers. Welcome back, Dr. Colbert. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we're going to start off with microdermabrasion. Can you tell me first, in the office, what is microdermabrasion? Well, microdermabrasion is a vacuum that we use with aluminum oxide crystals to peel away a layer of skin and make it look fresher and younger. Okay, and then, okay, so then in the drugstore, they actually have something that you can send Some, the same effect. Sure, something similar, and I'm going to show you this. These are little crystals we'll put on your face so you can see what it feels like. We'll just squirt a little bit like that. And you rub it in in a circular motion over and over again. And those little granular fields will peel away a layer of skin and leave it a little bit more refreshed. Is this just as effective as um, in the doctor's office? Not at all. You would need to, because there's no vacuum. But it does deliver somewhat of an effect, some freshness to the skin. And then you would apply this moisturizer afterwards. And this is from L'Oreal. And that's from L'Oreal. And price difference? Price difference, uh, <laughs> tenfold. This is probably about $20. And in the office, a microdermabrasion would be around two, between two and three by a dermatologist. Okay. All right, let's move on to lips. Now, um, this is like gives your lips a plump, kind of like a, what the Botox would do? Well, no, no, not, not quite. This would be something <laughs> trying to mimic Restylane. And this is probably something that retails for about $30. It's a lip plumper. And I would just put a little bit on your finger and you can try it and see if it feels like anything. And how would this work? Well, it's supposed to stimulate a little irritation or inflammation in the skin or a reaction. And Are that would be. <laughs> Okay. And how much would this be in the doctor's office? Probably about $30 for something like that. Um, and you would, of course, not get the anywhere the type of result that you would with Restylane. Okay, and Restylane, how much would that be? Restylane would be probably about between uh, three and $600 for a lip treatment of the upper and lower lip enhancement. And how often would you have to do that? Probably twice a year. Twice a year, okay. Yeah. All right, let's move on down. And what do we have here? Have everything all over me, the chemical pill. We have a little chemical peel kit, and what this would do, um, would you oh, apply wait, Actually, we have the, um, you have you in the office. This is actually you doing it here. What is a, a chemical pill okay. that the doctor so does? I'm applying a gentle acid, 35% alpha hydroxy acid, and what that does is it peels a layer of skin away and makes the skin look fresh and young, peels some pigment away, and shows a uh, soft radiant skin underneath it. Okay, and a chemical pill, does that, I mean, is that something that you can do and go back to work or is that something that you have to wait a while for results? What the viewers are seeing here is a lunchtime peel and you can go right back to work because you're dissolving a layer of skin with the alpha hydroxy acid. And that's about a 35%. This is 10%, so it's really not going to hurt you. And I'm just going to show one. you. Mm -hmm. The at-home kit, if we have time, I'll just okay. basically would put it on and rub it into the hand. And at home, you'd be doing this on your face. And again, how effective the at home as compared to the doctor's office? I think that the effectiveness is probably maybe 10% as effective. In other words, you'd really need to do this on a very regular basis to get a nice radiant glow that you could get with the peel. Oh, okay. Ah, all right, now we um, have, what do we have this next? This is just Botox. Okay, Botox in the office. We have some video here. How does Botox work? What are you doing here to this gentleman? Botox is a muscle relaxant, and so what it does is it softens and decreases uh, muscle contraction around the forehead and on the eyes, and so it makes us look younger and uh, it takes away stress lines. Takes away those stress lines. And how much does this cost in the doctor's office? This would be between four and six hundred dollars for a treatment. Oh wow! And how often do you have to do that? Usually twice a year. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. It takes five minutes. Okay, and at home, what do we have that's sort of equivalent? Well, in some way? I would say that they're not equivalent at all. Mm -hmm. um, and I've only seen these today, but these are called frownies, and of course, I'm not recommending these, but. They're saying that if you um, go ahead and dip this in water and put it on your skin and leave it there, that at some point it will relax the muscle. I've never yeah. found anyone who said that they thought it, it actually worked, but you'd be putting this around the eye or an area where you have the problem. Interesting. It's kind of like a band-aid, it seems. It seems like... <laughs> Just flatten it out, huh? Yeah, it's probably not, not much... Not, not the same. You wouldn't, like, you're not giving it a thumbs up, huh? No, not today. Okay, we hear the ladies laughing over there. All right, Dr. Colbert, thank you so much for thank coming you, in. Tiffany. And for more information on these procedures and the doctor's practice, just log on to www.davidcolbertmd.com.